Hey guys, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we did a workout, Victoria and I, and we started off with leg extension superset with seated leg curls. So we did about 20 reps each side, alternating back and forth. I find that doing these specific exercises to start off a leg workout is a great way to just warm up the legs and get them going. And then we moved into reverse hack squat. Instead of doing it front ways where it would put more quad dominant, we did it reverse. So it would be more glute and hamstring dominant. With these, you want to make sure your chest's up, you're sitting back with the glutes completely, and then using the hamstrings and glutes to get yourself back up and feeling the squeeze at the top. We did about 45 pound plates each side and then worked up to two plates each side about 10 to 12 reps, alternating back and forth. It's always nice to be able to go outside, so then we utilize the outside to do our RDLs, or stiff leg deadlifts, and as you can see here, we're using 40 pound dumbbells. With these, you wanna make sure you keep your chest up, push the butt back, feel the stretch in your hamstrings as you go down, so as the dumbbells are going down, your butt is being pushed back, so it's like an opposite attraction movement, and you feel a really great stretch in the hamstrings. We performed about 12 to 15 reps, each of us, and then we did four sets of these. So it was a continuous back and forth movement, and Victoria is an awesome gym partner to work out with. And then we moved into walking lunges, pulsated twice, and then into a straight kickback. So we did continuous kickback into lunges, forward and backward for four sets. When you're pulsated in a lunge position, it definitely puts more pressure on your glutes and hamstrings so you can feel more of that squeeze. And we did just body weight and we were feeling it, we were sweating. And if you're getting the right form, you can really make the most out of that movement. And then we ended with abductors to set, super set it with adductors. Did about 20 reps each and three sets and that's how we ended the workout. Alright guys, we just done the workout. We train legs and it was so nice to be able to like to meet Victoria and actually work out together. We've been saying this for like a while. Like, we were gonna play it last time yeah, and then yeah. you were like kind of having your health issues. Yeah, I was having health And then health when issues. Regan's on prep, it's so difficult to like line something up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're here. Yeah, we did. We had a workout at Gold. She's actually uh, staying in Venice right now, so we'll be able to get more workouts together for sure. Yeah. So it was so much fun and I'm really glad we got to meet out. Yes. All right. And we killed our booty. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I smell it from outside. I smell, no, I smell the burgers. This smells so good. Thank you. I'm glad that you just did that. Sunrise right there. The sun is just about to rise. Alright guys, good morning and happy Friday. So it is 6 a.m. Maybe a little bit past 6. I got up early. I went to bed around 12. So I was like, I really want to get my workout in. I have so much to do today. We have a photo shoot with five girls. I've trained a client. I have check-in day. So I have a lot of things going on. So I was like, let me get the workout in. I'll get a nice workout in. I'll get a coffee. I'll relax. And um, while Nick's sleeping, so it'll just be my time to just like get myself done and uh, it feels good so I'm gonna go train shoulders today do some cardio I have the tripod with me um, with the clip yeah I do with the clip so I'll be able to film the workout and I'll see you guys at the gym alright so I got my coffee I don't know why it's so dark right now but I guess because the sun didn't come out I got my coffee and I've been just using coffee as pre-workout I have not taken any pre-workout probably in like four months um, I just wanted to rid my body of all like those artificial stuff. Um, there's a lot of fillers in them and I wasn't really able to trust many of them and they were giving me some like weird side effects as time went on. But I recently switched to Body Core. It's a natural plant-based supplement line and everything sweetened with stevia and it's just, you can see all the ingredients are all recognizable. They're all like very healthy for you. So I will be showing you guys like what it actually looks like but for now, um, I've just been using Starbucks use any or anything, any type of coffee for my pre-workout and that's been working for me. Look at this 6 a.m. sunrise. Got the birds going. Wow. Looks so pretty. 
All right, so I had asked you guys a few questions on Snapchat. If you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, make sure you follow me on there. I like for you guys to ask me questions. I like to be interactive. I like, to, I'm always posting there very frequently and it's sort of like firsthand what I'm doing and i um, always trying to help in any way I can. But I'm always asking you guys questions because I like to do like sit downs and YouTube stuff like this. And one of you guys asked if things don't go according to plan, how do you deal with it? So. I would say that I was somebody who really dealt with being on a schedule, things going according to me, how I want to do it, and I wasn't very flexible or bendable, and that really affected the way I felt and the way others felt because I was always doing what I wanted to do. And that's just not sustainable. It's not a way to have good relationships. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the other person um, or whoever. When things don't go your way, you can't. And not everything is about you and the world does not revolve around you but you can be happy and learn how to accept every situation and make the best of every situation because things in this life are happening for a reason and we don't always know why and we think like we're always a victim and we think um, it's not going this way for me it's just not my day or whatever but there's a reason for everything happening and just trust that it's going to work out and trust that that's the way it's supposed to happen but when you when you think about that you're doing something or you're not at home at a certain time you're not eating at a certain time you're not working out at a certain time you're not home like from work at a certain time whatever it is try to make the boast about whatever you're doing like whether it's that you're with somebody enjoy their company ask them questions maybe you'll learn something more about them listen to music you like listen to an audiobook that you like maybe it's a chance for you to learn something maybe you're stuck in traffic for an extra hour and um it's frustrating it's not going your way you want to just be the first in line what you have to do is make the most of every situation so maybe you can learn something within an hour that maybe you wouldn't have taken the time to learn before so the timing worked out that put you in the situation to get you to be even better for me when I'm with people and I see that I need to be somewhere I need to do something um, I definitely am guilty of being anxious and wanting to go and you know, just like having these feelings that it's just not worth it it's not worth it to feel stressed it's not worth it because either way you're gonna make it there at some point and you're gonna be there at some point so you have to just take your time allow yourself to breathe not be as stressed and you'll feel better from the inside out because the way we feel and the way our bodies respond is through the inside and how we choose to feel and just focusing on more things that make us happy and there's so much going on every day like there's so many people doing so many things but really it's all these little things making up of so many things so me i'm drinking my coffee i'm filming for youtube these are all very like basic things another another example for things that going your way let's say you're in the gym and you want to get on a machine and somebody's on there and you really want to be on there right now um well maybe you go do something else and then you come back to it this is a very basic example but maybe there's something not going your way and maybe you weren't ready to do that exercise at that time you don't know you don't know the way the universe is working maybe you just weren't meant to do the exercise then i would say most people are stressed about and worry about time and um again i'm somebody who has been guilty of that but I have to take a step back sometimes, breathe, and just say, I'm going to get there. Things are going to get done. Whether or not, whatever timing it is, it's going to get done. So you can't let it like stress you out and you can't let those feelings like take over because if you waste that time being stressed and nervous, um, it's only going to delay and it's only going to make you feel worse and it's not going to make things get done any faster or any better. So just like I said, if you're if you're out, if you're just have, if you're waiting, whatever, waiting, don't be waiting. Find things to do so you're not waiting. You're keeping yourself busy. You're keeping your mind active. You're feeling good. Uh, go for for walks. If you're waiting for somebody to get to your house, something like that. Whatever it is, um, just make it something that you like and something relaxing. I like to ask my clients like, when they're stressed out during a prep, I always ask them. They know. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. What do you like to do that relaxes you besides going to the gym? And uh, they tell me like all these different things and I'm like, do that. So if something's not gonna go your way in the situation, that's something you like to do, do it. Like that's a, that's the opportunity for you. So you, for you to do things that make you feel good and you think like you don't have this time to do that, but really there's gonna be so many situations where things aren't going your way and you're waiting and you're doing other things and 
um, you have this extra time that you don't think you have, but you do, and um, it gives you that time to do that. So, like I said, like listening to something, going for a walk, taking your dog for a walk. These are just examples. Watching something on YouTube, a channel that you really like, maybe it's my channel. That'd be cool. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, somebody asked me this question. I will be addressing way more questions. I just like take one as I, as I go, and I sort of just said I feel like I want to sit down and talk about it. I do, and I hopefully it's helpful for you. If you guys find this helpful in any way, leave a comment below. Let me know. So I'm just getting finishing my coffee. I wanted to finish it uh, before I went into the gym, so I just like relaxed, drank it. I'm actually sweating a bit, um, so I opened the door because I was like filming and hot coffee and I'm wearing a long sleeve and all this stuff. Anyways, I will see you in the gym. Bye. You ain't messing with the flow, you ain't messing with my vision Messing with the money, you ain't messing with decisions Yeah, you messing with the team, then you messing with the squad Mess with one of us, you be messing with them all Yeah, yeah, yeah Staying up late, making it right, living it up to my name Focus on doing it better You just be doing the same, you doing it lame I'm doing like everything changed Forget all the money, forget all the fame I still would've done it if they would've played All of the music I make every day Like whoa, crazy the way the world goes Blind when you look at it close Zoom out when you view in the picture Perspective is all that we know I'm all on my zone, I'm all on my own Keep making a difference, I'm chasing the tones I'm finding myself with the All done the workout Sweating like crazy Got Done. I just did 10 minutes of the stairmaster, sweating like crazy, and uh, something's growling, so I know it's ready for food. I was not super hungry when I woke up, so I got my hunger going, and my metabolism going this morning, and uh, I'm going to be training a client at 10, so I'm going to get home, and I will see you guys there. Six and a half hours later. All right, so I just made myself a salad. It's got tomatoes, chicken, avocado, cucumber, potato, hummus, apple cider vinegar, and olive oil. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude this vlog. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.